Hey dude squad, welcome back to my soda. Is it worth it? So today's episode, we got this cool um, Amazon Marvel here, and basically what this is, it's a 6 stream Wi-Fi 6 cable modem router. And you see the one that we got right here from this brand, and they do call it Nighthawk. And for the one that we got right here, it is the AX2700. And for this one, like I mentioned, it is a cable modem router. So it works both as a modem and also a router. So if you guys only need the router option, you probably want to go for a different product. But for the product, it does have a Nighthawk app where you can control stuff and manage stuff on there. And it actually has a Netgear Armor Cyber Security. But for that option, it does require a subscription. They do give you guys like a 90 day trial or something when you guys do use it. But I'm not going to cover that in this video. If you guys turn to the site, they do probably got some of the specs and features that's on the product. And they also probably got some more specs and features on this side as well. And if you guys turn to the back, they do probably got some more specs as well. And because the product has the Wi-Fi 6 technology, you will definitely get the fastest speed when you guys use it. And for this product, it works with Xfinity, Spectrum, and Cox. So this is what the package looks like when you guys first get it. Let me actually open it up to show you guys what's included inside first. Here's what the inside looks like. Let's take it out. So once you guys take it out, everything is well packaged and everything. First thing inside right here, they probably got a quick starter guide and also like a warranty card. So if it's the first time using this product, you do want to download the app so that way you can control it on there as well. But right underneath that, and we see we do have the actual product. So let's take it out first. So right here is the product. Right underneath that, they do probably got two different cables. So one of them is an Ethernet cable, and the other one is a power cable. So you definitely want to plug this in to activate the product. And that is basically everything that's included in the package. Now I'll take out the back to show you guys what the product looks like. Alright, so once you guys take it out, here is basically what the product looks like. So when you guys first get it, you probably want to take off this part on top. But right here in the front, you can see we do have a bunch of indicator light to show you guys when it's on and off for each different section, whether it's like the Wi-Fi 2.4 option, the 5G option, each one is Ethernet option, and the list goes on. They have all that available for you guys. At the very bottom, they do have a bunch of buttons that can use the connection and the light option, etc. When you guys turn into this slide, they do have the password for the Wi-Fi option, but I do have to cover it for privacy reasons. Top out right here is probably like the ventilation fan and everything or the signal option when you guys do use it. So right here in the back, we do have a reset option. We have four Ethernet options, one USB 3.0 option, the cable option right here, and right here is where you just plug in the cable to activate it. And right here in the bottom is basically the stand option and they do have like the non stand material to prevent it from like moving around when you guys do set it up. And also underneath the product, they do have like the serial number, the password and all that good stuff as well. So definitely look in the bottom if you guys ever need to. So that is basically everything that's on the product. Before I actually plug it in to show you guys how it works, I do want to go over some of the specs that's on here first. So for this product, it does allow you guys to connect 25 devices at the same time if you guys do want to. In terms of coverage for the product, it gives you guys a coverage of 2,500 square feet. So if you guys put the product in the middle of your house, it should give you guys a pretty good coverage throughout the whole entire home. So that is basically everything that's on the product. The mesh plug-in cable to show you guys what it looks like when you guys do plug it in. So if you guys do plug it in the back, if you can see in the front right here, it does light up. So you do want to wait for everything to light up before you can start using it. So that is basically what the product looks like when you guys do turn it on. Now I'm going to bring it over to where the actual cable is to plug in like the Ethernet cable or like the cable option. And then we'll test it out to show you guys how it works. And then we'll come back and talk more about it in a second. Alright, so here is the old one that I've been using. If you can see this is what the product looks like. So we do have it all connected right now. So I'm going to test out the speed to show you guys how fast it is. Alright, so we're testing out the speed right now for the actual device. And just to let you guys know, we are using Xfinity for the plan that we have right here. All right, so here is the speed before we actually put on the new one. All right, so here is basically what the back part looks like. So MC does have a very similar design with a power outlet, cable option, Ethernet option, and a USB option. So when you guys connect your modem router, you do need to actually change the uh, box or the service on your provider plan. So right now, see we are activating on the Xfinity plan. And usually you need to do this every single time you guys do change like your modem router. So you see it's done. So now we can test it out and see how it works. So once you guys finish that step, you guys can go back onto the app right here. And you guys want to click on complete. And you guys want to follow all the steps on here in terms of how to set it up. So you can see right now the device is connecting. And you can also see it on the app as well. So once it's done, it should be connected. So you do need to go right here to connect it when you guys do set it up. So you need to change like, the password and everything when you guys first get in. Alright, so this is basically what the website looks like when you guys do set it up. If you guys want to do it this way instead of using the app. As right, so you can see, this is the result of the test. So you can see it definitely is pretty fast, but the upload speed is a little bit slow. So when you guys use the website now, it should work. So if I reload the page, everything on here definitely does work. 
Alright, come back guys. So now there's a quick test with product and that can see actually does work and actually works quite well. Once you guys plug in the correct cable into the back, it actually starts working immediately. Obviously, if you guys want to, you do have the option to connect it on the app just like I mentioned earlier. And in terms of the speed of the actual internet and everything when you guys do use it, it does depend on the plan you guys have. If you guys have a slower plan, obviously it will not work as fast. But if you guys do have a faster plan, then it will work faster. But that is basically everything that's on the product. Not the unboxing and testing product. Not the end question of whether or not that's worth it or not. So for this product, I do have to say that it's pretty worth it if you guys want or need one of these. Especially if you guys are in the market looking for a high quality cable modem router, then I do have to say that it's pretty worth it. But then obviously for those of you guys who don't want or don't need one or have one of these, then obviously don't buy one and save your money for something else that you do need. So that's basically everything for this video itself. If you guys like this video, make sure to smash that like button in the bottom. That will definitely help this video out. And it will definitely help with the algorithm as well to promote more videos for you guys so you guys can see more of the videos or similar videos as well. But as always, make sure to stay positive, be you, and I'll see you guys in the next episode of Is It Worth It? Peace.